talking about some of the different releases we see nowadays and probably could probably maybe put them into four different categories of the releases. And let's start with the new one that everyone's seeing is the two-handed release. Right. We see lots of, of success with the two-handers, uh, definitely on the men's tour and, and you know, the amount of, of RPMs they're able to create and pin carry, it's, it's really actually pretty impressive. We're seeing a lot, even a lot of youth players on our youth team, Junior Team USA, and around the country and around the world are actually doing this two-handed release. Right. And, you know, is it a release or is it more just a two-handed swing? And it, It's almost like they're just really swinging the ball with two hands, but the release is really just with one. That's where the misconception is. It really is not a two-handed release. One hand releases and then the other one just does a contemporary, what would you say, a normal release, so to speak, but it actually is a two-handed swing. Some use their thumb and some don't. Right, and we're not really seeing a big increase whether they're using their thumb or they're not in, in the RPMs. If No, it's just kind of a whatever personal preference is going to be style of whatever they're doing this swing. A couple other releases. We have, a, let's, I, don't, I hate to use this word, but a contemporary release, a release that the good three quarters have been taught for years and years and how they do it. Um, why don't you go ahead and show us what we do with the hand? Nothing wrong with that release. You've done that for a while, haven't you? <laughs> and had some success with it too, haven't you? So the contemporary, when the thumb comes out, the hand will continue rolling through, but it is going to be a counterclockwise rotation. So the key here is making sure that we keep this elbow in when we make that rotation. Now, what are the, some we've seen the newer players are doing? I don't want new players. We're seeing a lot more on the Team USA players, the younger players, the new generation that grew up on the resin bowling balls. Right. Their hand position is going to be in the same place. They start to release the ball, but they will do what? They will actually kick their fingers back. Yeah, they kind of go more clockwise. So it almost pulls the elbow in, gets the same rotation, but it actually is going to be rotating on the inside of that bowling ball. Which, it's very interesting how the evolution of the game's gone because one we don't see a lot nowadays is the full roller. Right, one of the best players in the world, Shannon Flahowski. Yes, it, it's a very heavy roll because it's covering the circumference of the bowling ball. Back in the 60s or 50s, they had the full rollers that actually went in between the fingers and thumb. To do that release, it's the same thing on the new modern players of turning in, but they would actually turn their thumb in into the backswing. So it almost like you used to call it a figure eight. They would turn their thumb in, come back, and then turn. So the modern release actually has some history going back all the way to the full roller. The key is, is understand what your release is, what's going to be best for you, and you can actually practice it with some drills.